um, the uh, Davos gathering of billionaires, political elites, multinational corporations that are staggeringly wealthy uh, discussing the future of the world is sort of nauseating in and of itself, uh, but at least it provides the opportunity for groups like Oxfam to highlight the gross inequality in wealth uh, and put forward proposals. And uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier on, and as we've indeed put forward for ever since I've been in this doll, proposals for modest wealth tax on those uh, very highest of earners, uh, Oxfam have proposed a modest incremental wealth tax on the net assets of people who have wealth in excess of 4.7 million euro. So this is not a tax, as you said earlier, <laughs> on ordinary people. This is on people, 95,000 people have that much wealth in this country. 95,000 have in excess of 4.7 million. Wouldn't it be reasonable to put a 2 or 3% wealth tax on that wealth to fund housing, health services and the cost of living crisis? I just have a different perspective on it than you. I, I don't think our, our endpoints are, are different. Um, um, I just, just have a different perspective on it. Uh, it's, it's your view that... Um, higher taxes always result in more revenues for the government, uh, which we can then spend on health and housing and everything else. Um, it's my view is that it's not necessarily like that. Um, we have very low corporation profit taxes in Ireland, and yet we bring in um, more per capita in corporation profit taxes than almost any other country in the world, uh, or indeed in Europe. It, it is the low taxes. It is the low taxes uh, on corporations uh, in Ireland that produces the massive tax revenues that we can spend on health and housing and education. And if we doubled or trebled our corporation profit tax, I think the receipts would go down. And I don't want that ever to be tested, by the way. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I'm glad that neither of you are Minister of Finance, because I think you would test it. Uh, you would hike up um, uh, profit taxes on businesses, and those businesses would either relocate elsewhere, take their jobs elsewhere, and their profits elsewhere, and you'd bring in a new era of austerity, and that's not something I'd like to see. Well,